I know I was at Wembley last week, but here we are now at the real start of the new season. I know there was a, a pre-season as well, but this is where it all starts. Chelsea away on paper would be one of the toughest games of the season, but we don't know what, quite what to expect from them. I just want to give a big shout out to Timson. Uh, obviously, you know who Timson are, the cobblers and lots of other things. You see them outside, lots of superstores. Also to m and Artwork and Mirrors, who are great at, at actually giving you uh, framed items or artwork items, look them up. Uh, they're, they're very good at what they do and I'm hoping to get some stuff done by them myself in the near future. And also to our RG group who have lots of garages around the northwest who continue to support. And if you want to reach out and support me, then you can do. But here, the main thing is talking to real fans outside the ground with real opinions. None of the people I speak to are staged. None of this is for sensationalism as you might get on other channels. This is about real Chelsea, people, Chelsea, real Max Chelsea, going fans, Chelsea. including these Chelsea fans. <laughs> see, real fans. None of it's uh, scripted, as you can tell. So let's see what people have got to say today. Let's see who I meet. Uh, so actually, uh, Michelle and I are visiting uh, several different places in the UK. We spent a couple of days in Wales with her daughter and uh, grandson and then here in London went and saw Hamilton a couple days ago here for the uh, the match today obviously and then we leave for Scotland in the, the morning. And you run the, well you did certainly, the Washington branch. Yes, I stepped down uh, this season so Leia Turner took over and uh, I'm actually now the membership secretary for the Houston branch. And the Houston branch is, of course, where you refer to Michelle. She's not here at the moment. Right. But she runs that. So there's obviously a, a strong city contingent in the States. Yes, yes. So she actually stepped down as well. So, yeah, uh, Deb uh, Shady is uh, running the uh, the Houston branch now. So, yeah, we're just uh, here enjoying the uh, the match as uh, regular official supporters club members. So there are a lot of fans in the States, city fans in the States. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm part of the DC club as well. And, uh, yeah, it's been the best. So I'm in the military station in Oslo right now and I've been able to go to a ton of matches being part of the supporters club and having access to tickets has been awesome so I've been to everything the Aston Villa winning the league match to beating uh, Man U last year in the FA Cup at Wembley so it's just been a, a blast. Where does the love for City come from? That's a great question. <laughs> great football. Right? So I, 2015 was the first time that I'd ever really watched anything uh, as far as the Premier League. Uh, always loved watching World Cups and just figured, hey, they're finally, it was Fox Sports back then, started playing the full seasons. So I started watching and I was just blown away with the, how good but the competition why was. Why City? I, I, for me personally, it was Leroy Sané the, it, in the beginning. I just loved Leroy out on the wing and uh, I was very sad to see him go, but understood. Here's but that's the killer question then. You know that these charges are hanging over City mm -hmm. at the moment. And there's even a suggestion City could be relegated. If City get booted out of the Premier League and they're in Championship, are you going to go and support anybody else? No, no way. No, it's, it's nope. for life now. No, nope. CTID. <laughs> and what about today? First match of the season. What are your hopes? Uh, you know, Stamford Bridge is always a, a tough away game. Uh, I, I think it was 4-4 last year. So uh, um, I think City will win. I think uh, De Bruyne always scores against Chelsea. So I think he'll <laughs> have at least one goal today. Oh, so I, I'm uh, I'm looking <laughs> at 2-1 uh, City. Obviously, them lads walking past will disagree with you. That's are you right. equally optimistic? I'd be happy with the draw, to be honest. But if we win, that'd be great. <laughs> Enjoy uh, the... UK visit, but particularly your city visit. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Ian. Good to see you. <laughs> I know we're slow starters, but I hope that's not today. Uh, I was at Wembley last week and I wasn't very impressed with them. I think we was quite lucky to get through to penalties. But and today, they're going to have lots of new players in. And I'm hoping that we can, can create plenty of uh, chances to score. I still expect us to win. I'd be very happy with a 1-0 or a 2-1, something like that. So yeah, and we're here again, start of a new season. Looking forward to the season anyway. Uh, I'm going to travel to more away games this year uh, than I did last year. That's, that's my fulfilment this year. And to some uh, Champions League games away as well, which I'm looking forward to. So we went to Copenhagen last year, really enjoyed that. So let's see what this year brings. Yeah, I'm, I think we'll do all right today. Anyway, come on the Blues. Ian, I'm always optimistic, always. Today for me, 3-0. I'm going to go 3-1. <laughs>
It's the, I don't want to sound negative in any way, shape or form, but we all know that these 115 charges haven't gone away and that Pep hasn't yet committed to a longer stay. Does that worry you? I mean, City's signings have been perhaps a bit less than they might have been and I'm wondering if that's the reason. It doesn't worry me because he seems confident. You know, every, in every press conference, he always says he's been assured by those above that there's nothing to worry about and if he's assured then I'm assured as a fan so it really do, it, I'm not concerned no I'm genuinely not I just spoke to a couple of American fans who said if we do go to the championship as a result of all this they'll still be there yeah so that's how most fans would that's feel right we it? will all still be there there's no question about that as a younger fan do you have that confidence and that attitude as well yeah I think so in, innocent until we're proven guilty and I think we'll be absolutely fine but if, if we're playing Sheffield Wednesday next year we still want to go as much yeah. as you do now yeah I think the away days will be better <laughs> we'll be there we'll be there I taught him well he will always be there <laughs> we'll be there we'll be there um, yeah feeling pretty confident today I mean I know we'll be without Rodri not sure what the rest of the team's going to be like but uh, three points should be should be in it for us and the season I mean I spoke to a few people at, at Wembley last week and they said where's the threat coming from most people agreed Arsenal are Chelsea in the mix I don't think so um, although they've got a good manager he's not proven himself at this level and I think they might struggle I think they'll be in the top half but I don't think they'll get much further up than eighth and seventh or eighth this season um, with regard to our team uh, sorry with regard to Arsenal's team I think if they get a centre forward, they'll be a threat. If they don't, they won't. So we're going to win it again. Five in a row. I thought on today's game, it could end up being a draw. Is that because of the uncertainty of the teams? The uncertainty of the team. Um, I don't see why we've not got all of them back. They've had five weeks counting today, yeah. Uh, and other teams have played, some of the players that played in the final. So I don't see why we've took so long to get them back, at least to start today. What you say? Um, but the boys who were here, who's going to start, they'll hold their own and hopefully we can not get beat. But hopefully, we can get some out of the game I don't but think, I do fancy a draw I don't think this is going to happen but if the worst case happened and they relegated us I know you're still going to be around you're wearing that shirt with pride back to 99 well I'm up for going to Oldham to Rochdale to Gateshead to Hartlepool up where neck of the woods yeah I'm game I'm all for it yeah but we'll see what happens when that time comes yeah 115 charges what for yeah what are they? What are they? Yeah, they're only charges. They're not proven guilty, are we? I think we'll be all right this game. Start the season well, you know what I mean? We'll have a little bit of an away victory. Chelsea are no great shakes at the minute. Probably sunny day as well. So Their best player was on our substitute bench, so what more can you say? <laughs> Three ones today, City. You're not Come on. Cool Palmer, City have got a bit. No, not a single bit. City win today. 100%. 100%. 100%. City win today. <laughs> Over the last 
uh, five years, then ninth or something in the table. You know, we just don't have to be spending money with the room back. So uh, we'll see, but yeah, great start and it's great to be back, isn't it? We deserve the win. I think uh, Chelsea yeah. were pretty poor, really. Uh, we're going to get it. We'll do better. Rico. We'll, we'll play better than that. Who do you think was City's player of the match, man of the match, whatever you want to call it? Good question. Rico. Rico. You saw it before Rico I said Ruben Dias, commanding, good player. It's, when it's tough to think who the player of the match is, that means they all played well. Go on. The team played well. Uh, I think. Uh, some of the players could have been better. Doku kind of is a great attacking player, but his final ball wasn't good. So I we, can we can do better. We can do better. I like Phil when he came on, had the ball, then he uh, played it inside. We'll do better, don't we? We'll do better. Quality game. Play, best, two best players, Rico Lewis and Kovacic. Absolutely run them all off at park. Play quality today. Put the blues, come on. What do you think of that then? Oh, it was class, wasn't it? Class from start to finish. We're, we're absolutely brilliant. We're going for five in a row. Five in a row. We're, we're doing the quad this year. We're doing the lot. Class apart today, weren't we? A absolutely class. We're absolutely unbelievable from start to finish. Rico Lewis, something special. Get him in that England squad. Absolutely brilliant. Very yeah, good start, innit? Um, back on the road again. But um, yeah, he's been, you know, looking forward to the season and a uh, good start. And, I would say it's a better start last week, beating them lot on the penalties, even though it's a you know a bit of a tough one uh, on penalties. But uh, yeah, happy with that, and uh, we'll take it home to Manchester. Won't we? I don't think you've had a chance to watch the title rivals in theory, but I thought that's been the best performance of the weekend. Yeah, I've not had a chance to look at the other results. I'm not really too bothered about them. As long as we've got Pep, I think we you know we're not, we're not un we're not unbeatable. But I think it's tough to beat us. So. Uh, but yeah, I've not looked at them yet, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll have uh, a close eye on Arsenal, a close eye on Liverpool, maybe the others, but, uh, but you know, we won't talk about the other side of Manchester, will we? But uh, you know, they're, they're just like how they are. But um, you know, for us, like you say, good start and it was a good performance. I thought clean sheet as well, which is always good. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. If play like that, we're going to take some stopping. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, hopefully, but uh, you know, we've got Rodri, we've got other people to come in, haven't we? So, uh, you know, strong start and, uh, you know, like say, up the blues. Great start to the season, Ian. Cheesy, very nice. Love it. Actually, we were beautifully in control for the whole the whole game. I, I didn't worry for a moment. Yeah. Are we better than we were last year, even? I know it's only one at game. At the start, yes. 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 We're going to win again. From that form, it's definitely. We're, yeah. we're insane. Lovely. Certainly made a good start, haven't we? Well, probably a better start than I've seen for the last few years. So, you know, all the best, Jesus. Now you've seen it, what do you make of it? First time at Stamford Bridge, it was a great away day, great way to start title defence. Five in a row. And I'm guessing you're imagining the people back in the States watching that on TV. City away fans, though, the best. <laughs> Just like our team, the best. Great performance against a very tough team today. Um, two nil is a great result, especially when you come up to Chelsea because um, Chelsea were off to a fresh start. With the signings they've got the new manager and Pep's had a few difficulties with them. Um, obviously with the Euros and players being injured, but he still put, put out a perfect team and it was great. I mean, no threat to Rodri. We, we play well today. Rodri's always a big miss, but when you get the chance to play, you get a chance to pick, pick your team and you get a chance to pick to play. You take it with both hands, and that's what the players don't have to say. Everyone's played, played as a team today, which is good. Very tough, but very, very good performance. I think you said it all then, haven't you? Yeah, some people said, um, Nero's, that Jeremy Doku should have like taken the shots for himself, but he does he does these things to pass it to other players because he's a team player. He can't like take them on his own, if that makes sense. So it just shows how much... He's like he's not he's not selfish and he wants the team to succeed. And you know what? That gives me the perfect way to end this because 
I'm a massive Jeremy Doku fan. I thought he was the man of the match out there. I thought he played really, really well. He's so exciting. Love to watch him. He can beat players in ways I can only imagine that he can beat. So, if I was picking a player today, it'd be Jeremy Doku. But let's face it, it's all about City winning as a team. That's the crucial thing. Once again, thanks to my sponsors. If you want to reach out and support what I do, please do. I need sponsors to survive. So uh, let me know if you can get involved. Uh, and of course, don't forget the audio podcast. Clive Wilson, a former City player and former Chelsea player, will be on the audio podcast this week. But let me leave Chelsea by saying this. And I don't mean this colour blue. I mean sky blue, because isn't it great to be a blue?